Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I want to take a second to talk about what does solar prep really mean? This is one of these phrases we've seen just appear in the RV world in the last year, mostly. It's been around a little longer than that, but all of a sudden it's everywhere. And people are like, man, I've been camping my whole life. Am I missing something? Did I Was I not aware of this that's always been there? And uh, mostly it's kind of a marketing gimmick, but it's not that it's completely not useful. You see plugs like this or something like this on different trailers. This one happens to be a Cherokee. And uh, the there's all these this little plug inside here. Well, if you get what's called a solar suitcase, it, it looks like a silver suitcase that you haul around and you open it up and hey, there's a couple solar panels. You put it out, point it toward the sun and you, you get some little charge. But what does it actually do? These do not run high voltage things. Air conditioners, microwaves, refrigerators, these are not equipped to handle that. That takes real solar stuff. We'll get into that in a second. This little thing right here is for nothing more than trickle charging a battery. If you're, some people call it boondocking, some people call it dry camping, 100 different words. If you're not park camping, this is super handy, super handy because it'll help keep your lights on, your uh, your batteries topped off, your fans running, that's what this is for. It's a 12 volt trickle charge. It is not a high voltage thing that can run big appliances. For that, you need serious solar panels, you need power conditioners, you need power controllers. The sun can punch more power into your trailer than your trailer can actually handle. You can overcharge a trailer and overpowering is as bad as underpowering. You can wreck appliances doing that. That's one of the reasons we sell our RVs most of the time with uh, electric surge protectors, which most people don't. I'll do another video on that later if you're curious. But um, keep in mind what this is for. So what's funny is that little solar suitcase kit I told you about, it has a plug that'll plug right into this thing. Plug it in, point it toward the sun, lickety split, no problem. But what's funny, is that same solar kit comes with a little pair of alligator clips you could have just as easily clamped right onto the battery and it would have done the exact same thing for you. Granted, it's nice that you don't have to take the cover off the battery to use this, but it's it's not a it's not a giant thing. There's a reason that this isn't really affecting the price tag of RVs. It's just a wire that kind of goes up toward the battery line. That's it. It's nice. It's not a big deal though. So if a trailer has it, cool. If a trailer doesn't have it, no big deal. Don't worry too much about it. It's an easy thing to work around. We got the equipment to do that here. More information, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone. <laughs>